Hey guys, what's up? It's time for another Let's Play a Grand Fantasia. Yeah, I know it's been a while since I actually been playing this. It's because I've been out, I've been at the gaming mood for like a good while. But people have been coming up to me for like the past four days asking me to make a new video. So I decided to make another video. Hopefully. It, it shouldn't be my last, but I, I, but I am thinking about playing the new game called Dragon Nest when it comes out. So I'm going to be playing that when it comes out on July 26th. And I'm probably going to be off and on on this game every so often. And yeah, I decided, I was like I posed, I know some of y'all are probably disappointed about the eating the tuna because I was actually thinking about doing it. But I came to the conclusion that it's the same exact game and I'm not doing the same exact stuff all over again. Getting to the getting to level 80, max level cap on Eden, no. I already did 80 and something mechanical and it's not going to happen again. But yeah, I actually, yes I am filming. But yes, um, this video is going to be about Another another sunken mechanical fortune video. Yes, I know I did one before, but this one is actually different. It's like a pretty much I call I call it the sprite battery, in which the character stays powered up in sunken mechanical with sprite buffs. And I'm gonna show you like this little bug. I believe maybe like a few people know about it, but I decided to do a video on it. So when y'all get tired of grinding in MSF, well. When you get tired, you can like, it could, it, it could pretty much help you out. But, let's... Oh, god, pretty sounds. But yeah, I'm gonna show you this little trick. Hopefully, y'all like it. Unfortunately, stealth classes can't really take advantage of it. Like, dog stalkers right here. Can't really take advantage. But yeah. What you need is um the melon head, sprite head, and any type of pretty much self-buffing items. Not debuff items, because then it, you'll probably get killed using the buff items. But let me show you how, let me show you how it works. I'm lagging pretty badly right now, but... But yeah. Pretty simple. But this is what you do right here. You, you, you attack a guardian bitch, and like, stun it. And like, after that, you just leave it alone. And so it like, keep you in battle. And then after that, you just proceed going on with your daily day life and just attack. Like, as you can see, like, the Guardian bit, like, it won't attack me unless I get, like, real close to it. Since, like, the game is, like, I guess the developers programmed it to do melee attacks. And so, it's, it, like, it wants to do a melee attack, but it can't move. So, pretty much you kept the stays in battle. And like your spy buffs continue to stay on. Like you can't use the buff items because of obvious reasons. Because if you was to lock on to an enemy, if you was to lock on to an enemy, it'll automatically attack you. And most most of the time when I do it, I die. Normally the goblins, which like I really hate. Pretty, it's a pretty neat trick. I suggest you use it. Yeah. And like other people, like, like pretty much by battery, really good. Like all classes can use it except stealth classes, of course, which, because when they stealth, they leave battle, so you can't really, can't really take advantage of it unless you just stay out of stealth the whole time. 
Pwede ah. Pwede siya eh. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing this again because I already made a video on this. Uh-uh. Just showing you how this stuff works. Fun stuff. In other news... Such epic music. But in other news, I have gotten four pieces of my GVG set. Oh, it's very good, very good, very good. And I'm trying to slot it. And I'm having difficulty finding stones. I prefer getting in, like the end um, real stones, but inventory stones is, a, is an okay alternative. And I'm willing to trade if like someone PMs me. I'm willing to trade for these two if someone has them because World One, I, I hate buying stuff. And like I was looking at the AH the other day. I'm Because I was in the AH the other day buying stones. And I seen one for 3k. I bought that one. All that good stuff. And then, about an hour later, I went back in there. I seen some more stones. But then, it was for like 9k. And I'm like, well this is like flipping madness. Like who sells, like who sells these type, these type of stones for like 9k? It's like ridiculous. Oh my god. Talking so much. Why are you talking so much shit? You're just standing there and that movie would be boring. Well, hopefully my fans, the people who watch this video, will say otherwise. But that pretty much concludes with this video. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm not, I want to do a PvP video. I may actually do that later on tonight because it, it, it's going pretty good. And I'm like, look at that, 9 out of 10. That, that's all new I think. But, yeah, my next video will probably be a P PvP video, so I'll probably upload both of these at the same time, so, I will see y'all later.